if I could buy a new income stream instead of working for it? That is how I view crypto trading bots. Modern software automation can take a lot of the work of day trading out of our hands if we let it. I view trading bots as the swing trader's best friend. Most cryptocurrencies will fluctuate in value every single day anywhere from 1% to 5%. If you look at the history, day, month, year, you'll find that this is pretty consistent. Swing trading is a short-term gain strategy that seeks to profit on volatility, buying and selling within a short period to generate more profit than would otherwise be had if you were to just buy and hold the asset. Swing traders will use market indicators, chart patterns, and other analysis tools to attempt to forecast the price of an asset, try to capitalize on its price movements. Buy low, sell high, lather, rinse, repeat. Automating swing trading is the purpose of the vast majority of crypto trading bots out there. What's the difference between day trading and swing trading? Really, it's just about the time scale. Swing trading can apply to a time period that is longer than a single day, whereas a day trader is typically plotting their entry and exits all within the same day. That's really the only difference. And sometimes people will use the terms exchangeably, it really doesn't matter. They are both attempting to profit from short-term price fluctuations. The task of a day trader is to plot their entry into an asset that they've been eyeing and then intelligently exit that asset after having achieved a certain amount of gain. Sometimes people will have very specific criteria they use for that and that is where bot trading comes in. It's basically like setting limit orders. The most basic form of a bot is just understanding how limit orders work and then understanding that you can automate limit orders to take place automatically without your intervention. Typically, when a trader sets limit orders, if they set the limit order, they might leave, go away for the day, and then check back in periodically or even set up a notification to see if their sell threshold has been achieved. If it is not, it might take multiple days or they might have to decide whether to exit their position and put their money you know on an asset that might actually be moving using trading bots takes a lot of the executive faculty out of this because you can decide okay what are the parameters that i want to function by do i want to profit you know five percent two percent what am i trying to capture and then you can set up a trading bot which amounts to an automatically cascading set of buy sell orders that take place according to the parameters that you configure 